want to do a basic manicure at home. The first thing you're going to do is wash your hands and make sure you have a clean surface to work on. Then you're going to set up your station. The supplies you need are three towels, a strip of paper towel, hand sanitizer, a nail bowl or a kitchen bowl, nail polish remover, cuticle remover or softener, hand lotion, almond oil or just an oil. This is a sweet almond oil, but if you have olive oil, avocado or coconut oil, that will work as well. Some isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Top coat, polish, base coat, some loose cotton. If you don't have loose cotton, cotton rounds will work just fine. A nail file, an orange wood stick. This is a reusable orange wood stick, but oftentimes these come in wood and are disposable. It's a cuticle pusher and a glass bowl for the oil, cuticle oil. And I also have the procedure sheet, which is posted up on D2L. So you're gonna set up your station. You're gonna place one towel down. With your second towel, you are going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again and place it in the center. Then place your strip of paper towel on top and this is to protect the towel from polishes and oils and lotion. The third towel is for your lap and you can use it to wipe your hands if you need to. You wanna make sure to properly sanitize and disinfect certain tools such as your nail bowl and any reusable items like the cuticle pusher or orange wood stick if it's not wood. So you would spray those items with isopropyl alcohol, let it sit and then rinse and dry those items. So I'm going to prep the nail bowl for the service by pouring in some tap water and then topping that off with some boiling water. If you're working with a partner or client, then you want them to test the temperature and you can add more hot water if necessary. You want it to be nice and warm so that it softens the cuticles. Next, you're going to greet and seat your client have them remove any jewelry and place that in a safe place and roll up their sleeves. And then you're gonna sanitize your hands. Both of you, your client and yourself will sanitize your hands. Then you're going to analyze the nails and the skin and you're gonna look for any disorders, cuts, abrasions, nail conditions, diseases, and if all looks healthy, then you're ready to start. The first thing you're gonna do is remove any old polish. So you would use a cotton round and your nail polish remover. And then you are going to file the nails. So you're gonna discuss with your client the shape that they prefer. And if you need any help, there are there's the handout on D2L with the five different nail shapes. So then you're going to start with your pinky. We always start with the pinky and work towards the thumb. You're gonna file from the outer corner of the nail to the center in one swipe. It's kind of like playing the violin. We don't wanna seesaw or saw back and forth. This is a bit uncomfortable. So just a nice swipe from the outer corner to the center. And for the purpose of this video, I will be demoing everything just on one hand. But you guys are going to do both hands. 
When you are done filing both hands, you're going to soak the fingers in the nail bowl for about three to five minutes. So it's good to have a timer during a manicure procedure because, the, because there are many steps that involve timing. So you've soaked the fingers for three to five minutes. Then you're gonna dry off the hands using the end of the towel. Then you're going to apply cuticle softener or remover to the base and center of each nail. Right on that cuticle. You apply to both hands and let it soak for one to two minutes. If you don't have cuticle softener or remover, what you can do is soak the fingers in the nail bowl for some extra time and just top up the hot water so that it's warm enough. So that's soaked for one to two minutes. Then you're gonna push back the cuticles. So you're gonna grab some cotton, spread that out nice and thin, and then stick your orange wood, the tip of it into the loose cotton and start to twist it. You don't wanna to get too much on the end or it'll be too bulky. Give that a twirl in between your fingers. So it should look like this. You're gonna start with the pinky and work towards the thumb, gently pushing back the cuticles. And we want to be able to see the lanula, which is the white half moon shape here at the base of the nail plate. So if the cuticles are really tough to push back, you can always repeat the nail bowl step. So soaking the fingers in the nail bowl and then applying the cuticle softener again. So you're gonna do that to both hands. Then what you're gonna do is apply the oil, cuticle oil, to the base and center of each cuticle. Both hands. And you're gonna massage in circles each finger, 10 circles per finger. This helps the oil to absorb into the skin and continue to soften those cuticles. When you've done that to both hands, you're ready to flip over your uh, procedure sheet and begin the massage. So the massage lasts for seven minutes on each hand. So this is another step to set a timer for. You're going to grab some hand lotion, warm it up in your hands, and then begin the massage. So you're gonna Step one is to move the wrist back and forth gently. Each manipulation is gonna be performed three times. Then you're going to slide down each finger, giving a little squeeze and pinch at the bottom of the finger and working from the pinky to the thumb. And then we're repeating a second time. The next one is my favorite. You're gonna rotate in circles across the palms of the hand. If you are doing this on a client, you're gonna use both your thumbs rotating in circles across the hand. But if you're doing it just on yourself, then you want to cover the whole palm 
in circles. Step four is grasping each finger at the tip and rotating the finger in circles, about three circles per finger. And then you'll want to repeat that a second and third time. The next step is massaging the wrist in circles. On a client, you'd be using both thumbs on both sides of the wrist and massaging in circles. The next one is rotating in circles down the fingers, starting with the pinky. And you'll repeat that a second and third time. The next one is massaging the arm from the wrist to the elbow. On yourself, you're just using your thumb, but you'd use both thumbs if you are working on a client. Then you're gonna flip the arm over and you're gonna massage the under part of the arm, kind of in back and forth motions and always from the wrist up towards the elbow. We don't wanna go the other way because then the blood is going to start pooling into the fingers and that won't feel very comfortable. Then you're gonna flip the arm over and you're going to crisscross back and forth with your thumbs across the top of the arm from the wrist up to the elbow if you need more lotion at any point in the massage, just grab some more, warm it up between your hands and continue. So you'd be using both thumbs, crossing back and forth from the wrist up to the elbow on a client. Then you're going to prop your arm up or your client's arm up and you're gonna massage the elbow three to five rotations. And the last movement is a stroking movement just up and down the arm. You'd be using both hands if you're doing this on a client. And that concludes the massage. So we're on step number 13. We're gonna remove excess oil from the nails. Otherwise the polish won't stick. So you're gonna need a cotton round, some nail polish remover. Starting with the pinky, you're gonna press and slide down the nail plate. Press and slide. If you need to flip that over and do it one more time, just to make sure there's no oils left on the nail plate, then do so. The last step of that is to use your orange wood stick with the cotton on it. And filling the cap with just a little bit of nail polish remover, making sure that cotton is nice and firmly on the stick, and dipping that in. And what I'm gonna do is clean under the nail plate or the, under the free edge. Because when we paint nails, we cap the free edge and if there's any oils left underneath then the polish will chip and break off. So cleaning under the free edge of the nail. Do that to both hands and then you're ready to paint. We're gonna skip 
Step number 14, buffing nails. Uh, if you have a buffer, you can use it. Buffers are nice for smoothing the ridges on the nails and creating a, a good canvas for the polish to adhere to. So I'm gonna start with the uh, base coat. You can give it a shake. So you wanna roll the polish between your hands rather than shaking it back and forth. So rolling it, you're going to get any excess polish off by swiping up against the nozzle on the one side. And we're gonna start with our pinky. Now, if you are working with a client, you're gonna hold that bottle in your hand and with your extra fingers, hold their finger and then paint. If you're doing this on yourself, you can set the bottle down. Starting with the pinky, you are going to paint down the center and then down the side of the nail and then the other side of the nail and then you are going to cap the free edge. So just swiping across the very edge of the nail. And then the next finger down the center, down the side, down the other side, and cap the free edge. Capping the free edge is like sealing, sealing the deal. There won't be any opportunity for a chip to form. Center side to side. Three brush strokes. You want to avoid repetitive brushing because that will cause, it'll start to dry faster and what you'll get is beading and threading of the polish, which is not good. So three strokes, center side to side and swipe across the free edge. You're gonna paint your base coat, one coat on each hand. By the time you're finished this, the second hand, you should be ready to apply your color to your first hand. So once again, shake the bottle, roll it between your hands, and repeating the same procedure, starting with the pinky, one stroke across the center, side, and the other side and then swiping across the free edge. Always make sure to get rid of any excess polish by swiping up against the nozzle there. And then center, side, side, and then cap the free edge. Once you've painted both hands, once you're going to go back and apply a second coat and by the time you're done the first hand you should be ready to do <clears throat> the top coat and you just need one coat of top coat so prep your polish by rolling it And then apply your top coat center side to side and cap the free edge. The last step is to clean the polish around the cuticles. And if any has gotten onto the skin, you're going to take your orange wood stick with some fresh cotton and dip that in the polish nail polish remover and just clean up all around the nail making sure you have nice clean edges and there's no polish on the skin once you've cleaned around each nail. 
what you can do is take a photo of your finished result and be sure to either video record your procedure or take pictures during the procedure at certain uh, points and submit your photos and your videos on D2L. And that concludes the basic manicure. So I hope you have fun with it. Thanks for watching.